welcome back to the channel. How are you all? I hope you've had a splendid week so far. Anyway, back into the madness. Uh, you know, settled out after the last video, I've been drag racing and stuff, and uh, I've not found out my, my problem yet as to why it was on such high, uh, low AFRs. Um, potentially, it was because I, I wasn't in VTEC. Well, technically, my ECU thought it was in VTEC, but physically, whether it was or wasn't. Not really sure. Um, so yeah, got home, I uh, parked the car up, uh, tried to reverse it with the driver, I don't have reverse or fifth gear, so uh, yeah, it took a beating that day. You heard the screams coming from the gearbox and yeah, it's pretty much deed. So the next stage for that is probably gonna be sticking in an RX-8 gearbox, which means I'll have to modify the power plant frame, the diff side, weld all sorts of bracketry up for that. So, today's video, uh, what we're going to be doing is we've taken the turbo off uh, of the car and now we're going to look at starting to fit the new turbo on. Um, wastegate placement, stuff like that, we'll probably be drilling and grinding and uh, welding stuff on the manifold to see if we can start making things fit and um, from there just sort of assemble the new turbo. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we get on with it. Yeah, so if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, I've just started sort of doing the stories thing, just uh, seeing how, uh, getting used to it and seeing how it all works. But yeah, me and my mate were out here last night, we were fixing his car, it was a Ford Cougar, we uh, DPF fault with that. Uh, so we started that and Rewardy came and uh, he gave me a bottle of whiskey, so uh, Irish whiskey, I've not tried Irish whiskey before. It was alright, but we ended up polishing the bottle off anyway, got pissed, got a little bit silly and uh, done some bits and bob to the car. Okay, so here's the two turbos side by side. We've got the whole set HX40W, uh, like I say, this one's got like a custom uh, wheel and stuff like that, that's why it sort of flowed the decent numbers. Um, that is not actually supposed to be in the public, it's like a... So it's a prototype turbo. Um, anyway, and this is the new GTX 3076RS, uh, the ball bearing turbo. So um, I'll be sticking that one on next. Also, cut the top flange off for the wastegate. The wastegate's... Yeah, pretty fucked, but it'll do for now. And uh, yeah, you can see just the size of the turbo is a lot smaller. It'll fit neater in there. The exhaust manifold as well, what I've done was I just chopped off the um, f the 4 bolt flange, the T3 flange, and I welded this piece on here, and this is a, a 2.5 inch V-band for the turbo, and uh, down here I'm going to be drilling in the wastegate takeoff, and uh, we'll be getting a bit of angle on that, hopefully, so we can actually um, aid with flow and stop any creepage. I've got all sorts of fittings, water lines, etc., and uh, feeds because I want to run coolant lines on this. What does that say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> also, if you watch my Instagram story, you'll see I came up with this. Uh, just a wee idea, it's just basically loads of uh, rods, like brass welding rods, and you push it down there, and you basically... Whatever you want it to go to, you, you basically bash it on and it comes up by shape. Um, and at that point there, you just sort of pull it down <coughs> and mark your shape out on the pipe and uh, cut it out. And then that will fit on whatever sort of shape you need. Pretty cool. Who damn! The more I put on this, the uglier it gets. <laughs> so, this was the old wastegate takeoff. Ignore these welds, which is just migged on just because... Uh, because and um, yeah, I actually found the manifold had cracked um, on the old flange. So let's see what this does. This is a lot thinner. Eh? I think this is like 1.5 mil stuff. A lot of folk are going to hate that, but ugh, I've designed and built manifolds that run off the 1.5 stuff. It still works. Um, and yeah, this is where I'm going to be having the wastegate sort of take off. And I want it at a bit of an angle to try and uh, encourage flow to go out the wastegate itself to stop any creep. Hoo -wee! Not gonna lie, that got rough. So yeah, the drill didn't work. Uh, I ended up chewing up the teeth on the thingy. Basically because the manifold's so thick now with stainless wheel, uh, well, it just chewed up my piece. So I got the TIG out. 
cranked it up to 180 amps. It's only a 160 welder. <laughs> and I just melted myself a hole. So, uh, yeah. I cut out this bit of pipe and that fits like that. And that should do for flow. I mean, that that would that will that will, that will be good for flow. So. And there we go. It's not tacked on yet. I'm going to tack in a wee second. But that is all the flow. Like, you know, both both runners is going to go in that direction. It's the right sort of shape. You're going to have to ignore how rough it is. But yeah, that's that's going to work a treat. Um Every angle, eh, it's just uh, it's going to flow absolutely spot on, so um, that's what we'll go for, and we shouldn't get any creep with that. The only issue I have to do is make sure I can get a V-band clamp on here still, and a V-band clamp on here still, and uh, make sure uh, when I fit it all together that the turbo doesn't interfere with it. So what I'll do is I'll chuck a couple of tacks on just to <coughs> get in place just now, and when it's uh, in place, I'll. Uh, uh, fit it in the car and if it fits alright I'll take it back off again and just weld the full thing up and uh, I'll generally with the clamps to try and help, help cool I'll bolt the turbo to this one and I'll bolt the wastegate to that one to try and keep the flanges level so it uses the piece of equipment as like heat sinks Right as you can see I'm just starting to take it on now and uh, I'm going to have to re-wrap this and that's re-wrapped we'll stick it on the engine bay and we'll uh, uh, fit it all up. Hey right, guys, poured it all out. It's all looking nice and shiny and free flowing. And... Let's put it back on the car. So, first of all, for I put it on, I'm wrapping it. Um, slight different colour because I soaked the wrap in water. I didn't last time, but I normally do. Um, you can get it on a bit tighter and uh, it stops all this glass sort of fibre floating about there and choking up all your lungs. It's not very good for you. So, And there we have it. Manifold is on. Looking good. Put a new gasket on there as well to try and give it a bit of a chance. And uh, some super gold. Right, take this gate apart, chuck in some springs and we'll assemble that. Oh and that's another radiator. I'm not sure if I'll stick that in. I might at some point but I can't even ask just now. And let's get the whiskey springs. Put them in there. Let's try and get them on top. Oh, they've all fallen out. Right. So we'll probably go for that one, we'll go for that one as well, that spring's there, and then we'll get... Anyway, I'm going to have to get in the vice. Hey, that's the way it's going now. Yeah, it's quite tight, but it clears everything and it's nice and easy accessible. And uh, yeah, just one little bolt there, that takes it off, no problem. Sort of gives a wee bit of room of where we need to go with the downpipe. Um, next thing, I think what we'll do is we'll mount the turbo onto the manifold and we'll see how much room we've got to get the pipe in there. The screamer will just sort of go straight down. Uh, shouldn't be much of an issue. Well, I suppose we'll make a bit of a screamer pipe. Just uh, taking bits together, really. I'll give this a wee bit of a blast. Well, I did do a little video of uh, welding this, but did they press record? And like, I don't know if like, you guys are good with cameras or not, eh? but like, see when you didn't press record, eh? you know, you'd not get, any, not get a video, eh? It seems to be the way of it. Eh, modern technology, eh? So I eh, basically this big massive piece will sit in there and eh, point to the deck. Let's see if we can get this thing hooked in here.
Oh yeah! So as you can see, it's a 3 inch V-band off the back of that and down the hole. Um, the hole cell, you know, there's plenty of room. Get a 3 inch pipe down there, no problem. And the front end, yes, she's looking good guys. Um, I've got this cast elbow that I normally do, you know how it goes. I just take the cover off, cut it up and stick an elbow in. There's two and a half inch uh, and I'll probably have to modify the intercooler piping right here. Right, so this is just 45 degrees. Yeah, doing like that somewhere. We'll make that work. The old ones over here. To be fair, that might not be far off, but um, because I've got the top piece there for the screamer the last time, I'll uh, I'll chop that full lot off. Right, so uh, yeah, happy with that just now. Uh, waist gets in the right place. Everything looks like there's enough room, and. Um, yeah, turbo's now mounted, so uh, that'll do it for this vid. Next video, I'll uh, probably have either Greg or Maz or somebody around to give me a hand for doing the downpipe. It's just a bit tricky doing things yourself with the downpipes. Uh, it's a bit quicker having a helping hand, to be fair. And then I've got a Turbo Smart oil pressure regulator to pick up from Cytec Racing. And that just holds the oil pressure around about 40 psi because when I'm logging this oil pressure, I'm seeing like 110 psi which is huge, it's too high oil pressure for a bobby and turbo. Most folk do use windmill restrictors um, and yeah they, they, they work fine but um, I want to um, do it properly and have the right uh, oil pressure to the turbo. Then when that's done I'll uh, modify the intercooler piping and uh, yeah that'll be all that boshed up. One problem I've got is the gearbox, like I said, it's fucked. So uh, yeah, I've got an RX-8 gearbox hiding down here. It's the uh, same as an RX-7 box, it's a five speed. The difference is the power plant frame and the gear stick location itself is in a different place. I do plan on going BMW box in the future, but I've got that box there. I'd like to use that one anyway, just to see. An RX-8 box is quite cheap and you can get them at Scrappies for like 50 pounds, so that's not too bad. But anyway, yeah, I'm blabbing on a bit. Uh, I'll leave these guys to it. I'm buzzing it. We've got the new turbo on. First ball bearing turbo I've ever had. By Pulsar Turbos. So, uh, we'll keep you updated and see how these get done. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.